You're still watching Ways. Now, today is National Train Day, a day to celebrate trains, their history, and our fascination with them. Now, train revolutionized the world. The first railroad uh, was developed in Great Britain and initially used horses as power. Mm -hmm. Bringing this home to Nigeria, the first railway in Nigeria was opened in 1898 between Lagos and Abia Okuta, a distance of 96 kilometers. In common with the railroads, of other British colonies in Africa. A light rail transit system opened in Abuja in 2018. Now, similar systems are under construction or proposed in various cities within the country. Um, so when last did you take a train? Easy. I've never taken a, been on, I've never ridden on a train before. Ah, never. All the London will be talking since. No. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's ah. different, ma'am. I thought oh, it in was Nigeria. in Nigeria. Okay, okay, if you're saying Nigeria. I, oh, I don't think I've... I that almost wanted to enter one, mm. but I know Sandra <laughs> is a fan of train because right now the only safe mm. travel um, between Lagos and Kaduna is it's the train. rail. Yeah, that's the, the safest. I, I, Although recently they mm. attacked some people. I, I still don't believe that it's so safe because you have a lot of hoodlums in that yeah. train. And most times they're no, they, always hanging. They even attack people. Then now Serious. what they won't do, they also attack at the bus, at the train, train station. station. So where you highlight from the train, yes. between and there and where you get like your public transport. I mean, trains, I don't know. Nigeria mm. will get there. We <laughs> will get but there. But trust me, if mm. we can get that right, that would be a fantastic um, channel that can truly, truly solve our transport system. I think back I mean, in transport, the, transport the problem, yeah. problems. Yeah. I think back in the 70s, um, I know that my folks used to talk about it a lot, that they used to ride on the train and it was easy mm -hmm. back then. It didn't have as much problems we have today. But if, have you been to the railway station, uh, railway um, uh, ministry? It's, it's the, nothing is happening there. Let's just take it that. But the light rail that was introduced, hopefully, if they can replicate it in other um, states, it will, be, it will be nice. Yes, it will be nice mm. if, in if quote, can they can replicate it. it. Yeah. Yes. So. All right, so what did you find for me uh, in the news today? <laughs> in the news today, um, what I found was that WHO is spelling doom for Africa. Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> The spells, they spell doom in the context that they said that COVID-19 may infect about 44 million um, Africans. And this is um, going to also affect or kill about, um, they are predicting about 190 individuals to be killed by the end of a year during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yes. So but WHO, they've been giving us figures. We've not been... We've not been meeting their targets. So what makes this <laughs> any different? No, but it's true because this when a, this thing happened this the first time, they actually, they actually, mm, you know, spelt, doom spelt a lot of doom, but mm. we didn't meet up to that standard. See, I get the point. I don't know who I was talking with today. I say, yes, since the ease of the lockdown, the numbers have been rising. But trust me, if they are saying 189 people tested positive today, mm -hmm. that figure was not today. It was initiated. It was day. two weeks before that because... Mm. It takes about two weeks for them to get their results. Okay. So if it is fatal in Nigeria, mm -hmm. would have been hearing more death than what we are seeing right now. I, I, I agree with you in that context, but also look at it from the context that Africa is a developing nation or con continent, mm. actually. And we have a lot of individuals who do not believe in the existence of COVID-19. We believe I know, that I it's agree with you. Myth. I'm saying that infection, yes, but I'm mm -hmm. saying that the fatality, that's okay. where, my, where, where I'm coming to. I'm saying that the fatality might mm. not be as, as bad. Much as it has been predicted yeah okay. because if we if it was really fatal mm -hmm. and they're saying a lot of people are asymptomatic and all of that exactly and with all of the numbers rising and all that would have also been seeing the death toll so rising rise as well along, along with, with the it. numbers yes yes because that's true. i mean we're not being tested that's why people are not seeing that they are positive or negative mm -hmm. you know so now that they've increased the testing mm -hmm. the numbers increase for test positive cases but the fatality did not increase not as much as the increase of the numbers. So probably Mag Dr. Majako Dumida said that we are Nigerians are not, um, the average Nigerian is not healthy. Mm. Probably there might not be an element of truth in that. Maybe. Yes. Or maybe we are just, we just have good um, immune system, system that is fighting it. Because you remember he also said that 85% 
of us will fight it and kill it yes. even before it manifests. Exactly. So exactly. Let's bank it on that. Exactly. All right. So my story is um in line with what we're going to be talking today. After the mm -hmm. easing of the restrictions, um, um, the government is saying another lockdown is inevitable in Lagos and Abuja. You know, Abuja has been a bit fair in terms of compliance and all that, but Lagos. Lagos. Oh my goodness! On Monday, it was <laughs> chaotic. You know. Videos surfacing from all. In fact, there was a bank that they broke their doors, and you know, I saw the BRT bus stations. It was chaotic, you know. It was chaotic, fighting, trying to go into the banks. Like I don't get it. And you know what my sister was saying? Yes. To me, because she's an ex-banker, mm. she was saying that most of these people that are in the bank premises is one one. It's two thousand naira. They are going to go and withdraw. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so that she thinks that the CBN can actually come in very handy here. Yeah. Why? They can, you know what, put a premium fee. So maybe whatever you want to withdraw that is less than 10,000 naira, mm -hmm. or maybe less than 50,000 naira, you'll be charged 1,000 naira, or one ridiculous amount. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that those numbers will drop significantly. Then people will be forced to go electronic. So they'll go and get ATMs, you know, to, 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 to transactions. transact whatever withdrawals that they need to make. You know, mm -hmm. so I think it is really chaotic. And so um, mm -hmm. the um, they're saying the, if we don't... If they don't see the numbers um, dropping, and another lockdown is inevitable. It's inevitable. Yeah. I, I would agree with them because um, I went to uh, the market. Actually, I went to the market, and while I was trying to talk to somebody, hey, guy, hold on, don't come close, social distancing, you didn't wear your face mask. The guy said, ah, now market, we did. And I said to myself, with this kind of mindset, how do you think that you will not get infected? Mm. And what if you have a pre-existing condition? You even went to the market. You have hats. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I needed to shop. I'm not going anywhere. I needed uh, to shop. I've, I've, I've limited my movement. As in, in fact, today was the first day in six weeks that I crossed Third Milan Bridge. And that was only because I went to, I went to go and see my sister and her husband. Oh. I will not go anywhere. I haven't been going out, <laughs> but I had to go to the market to get mm. something, supplies for well, the house. So today we have uh, Mr. Olajide Oduyoye. He's the general manager of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority. He will join us right after the break to discuss transportation and the easing of the lockdown. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 